Oh, welcome back to the channel, guys. What are we doing today? Oh, great question. I'm glad you asked. I'm going to get out the Kubota BX25D. The back hose off, the three point hitch is on. On the back of the tractor, I have a Woodland Mills WC46 PTO driven hydraulic in feed wood chipper. Uh, behind that, I'm going to put my Berkelman two ton big little dumper hydraulic dump trailer. Runs right off the rear remotes that I installed on the tractor. It's awesome. And we need to cut down a few little cedar trees around the propane tank in order to prepare for a little bit of excavation so I can extend the French drain to where it needs to be. That's the job in a nutshell. It's gonna be fun. Stick around. Let's do it. Well, here it is, BX25D, Woodland Mills WC46 hydraulic infeed PTO driven wood chipper and the Berkelman's dump trailer. It's definitely, uh, definitely getting this tractor to to work work for its day, right? Like this is a lot for this tractor. I know that, but uh, I go easy, and uh, it'll get the job done. Here's uh, one of the jobs I just finished. RV station, full hookups for the RV, potable water, dump station down there, which goes right into the septic, and uh, 30 amps of electricity. One here, one over there, and another one to be completed up there in the woods. This is where the French drain's going. The French drain's gonna start right here and go up, 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 up to the corner and then turn and go along the road there. So uh, what I'm looking at accomplishing in the next few days, probably not all on this video, but there's the propane tank back there. So I need to get around the propane tank and I need to come up here with a solid PVC pipe right to about here. And then we'll switch to the actual French drain. Let's, uh, let's go back there now and uh, talk about what I have going on with the drainage so far. Uh, if there's one thing that, that always bothers me with houses, it's when you see downspouts dumping water right next to the foundation or even 10 feet away from the foundation. I don't think it's necessary. So you can see behind me here what I've done at this house and we'll spin the camera around so I can explain. Uh, we have the downspout coming down there into that Y. And what I've done is I've taken the, the sump pump I think that's either one and a half or two inch ABS. And I've got it just dumping into the side there. That's not sealed, right? I mean, it's open to atmosphere through there. There's no glue, there's no transition cement. It just dumps down there. And uh, that guy goes underground and ends up over here. The one on the left is the one we were just looking at, which is why it's wet there. The other one, well, that's the other downspout right there. That one's up there. This one's down here. Um, what else? We have another one coming out over here. That's just a single one and it runs all the way underground beside the deck. I don't know what the slope is, but it's there's lots of slope on this one. Straight line. up to here. Now the other end, that, that, that end there is open right now. There's nothing going on there. I'm going to tie in a French drain to that. But that, uh, that long sweep elbow there, that goes along here underground and picks up these downspouts. One there and one on the other side of all that junk. What I need to do is uh, I have to get around the back side of this propane tank in order to tie my French drain into that uh, that available piece of uh, four inch pipe right there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my saw and we'll cut the, uh, the small cedar trees out of there. I'll pull them off to the side, line them up, and then we'll get the chipper in here and take care of it.
So there you go, guys. There's the uh, the chainsaw work finished. I can't tell you how many times I've done jobs like this on this property where I've cut down some brush, I have a nice little pile. What do you do with it? Do you just leave it where it is? Do you just throw it in the bushes and let it rot and potentially have to stare at it? Do you drag it somewhere to a burn pile to get rid of it? I don't wanna have to do that and that's why I got the chipper. So let's put the chainsaw away. We'll get the rest of the gear out here and keep making some noise.
check this out. That's all there is to it. All those nice cedar chips. So many cedar chips on this property, it's ridiculous. So all I have to do is decide where I want those to go. And uh, fancy remotes here. You can just dump that trailer. Not here though. So let's go find a place to dump that stuff. You know what I've never tried? I have never tried tailgating anything with this hydraulic dump trailer. I haven't tailgated gravel, uh, dirt, topsoil, nothing. Let's try to tailgate some wood chips. It's probably not gonna work because they're too light, but eh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I think that material is just a little bit too light. The fibers of the wood chips are just uh, interwoven a bit too much for it to uh, easily release from that tailgate. So we'll get those, uh, get those chains off the tailgates, just let her go.
Well guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Quick and dirty. Uh, this is the gear, man. This is this is what you need if, if you uh, have jobs like this that you need to get done. I highly recommend this equipment. You know what, the tractor, it works hard, but it's okay, it does the job. The wood chipper is amazing. I can't say enough about it so far. I mean, not a review, not a review. Not giving a review for a long time. Uh, the dump trailer speaks for itself. I have uh, lots of footage, lots of videos and content about that. So that's it. If, uh, if you enjoyed that, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, until the next time, that's all I got for you guys. So take it easy. See you in the next one.